block is huge. Ooh. Good afternoon, makers. Happy Tuesday. I hope you all are doing well. I've had a lovely, slow morning today and was straight into work, very productive, but very focused, much better balance than yesterday, which is great. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm feeling really good. I had a good night's sleep, which was much needed. I was so off yesterday. Uh, sleep makes or breaks me. So I need my sleep, man, as many of us do. <laughs> but yeah, things are going really well. I've just been chilling out, taking a break, and I think I'm gonna stitch here because it's been one day since I have cross-stitched, which feels like an eternity. I know that sounds so dramatic. Everything is super dramatic right now. I will say one added element to all of this, and it's just gonna get really real. I've been vlogging since March. I did one month on Patreon, and then since April here on the channel. But yeah, you're you're seeing uh, the ebbs and flows of of months, and um, the red coats are coming. <laughs> It's almost that magical time in the month. And so that is adding to everything. And I don't know about you ladies, but quarantine times plus that is cray cray. So it's just being mindful of it and how it affects it. Oh, there's that hawk again. Dang, that was intense. But being mindful of it, how it makes me go squirrel <laughs> more than I already do. But yeah, things are fine. I know that's probably TMI. Some of you might be like, OMG, peace out. This is not what I signed up for, but I feel like it's really evident. So why not just call it out for what it is? There you go. <laughs> but anyway, I'm looking forward to cross stitching a little bit and making some headway on the first pattern release the first month rather of the modern folk embroidery uh sal that i've been taking part in the 2020 stitch along and i'm loving it so much and the light is really good right now so i think i'm gonna hop in this little red chair and stitch for a little bit before i get back to work for the rest of the day but yeah that's about it no recipes probably today good old leftovers I think I have, I took the chicken out to defrost because I want to make a Chinese chicken salad um, recipe that I had bought all the ingredients for and I need to make it soon before the cabbage goes bad. I did a huge clean, I, that was the other thing I did this morning that was also weighing on my brain. My fellow Virgos will understand the the mental space that having an, a cluttered home <laughs> have on your soul. <laughs> and my kitchen was full of boxes that needed to be recycled, recycling to be taken out, food, or not food, but trash rather, that needed to be taken out. And it had been a couple of days. And, you know, just, it it is very evident when you live in a small studio. Like, you have to take that stuff out. like right away so if you let it pile up a little bit it feels like you're a garbage pail kid <laughs> that's it that's actually how I've been feeling the last couple of days a garbage pail kid I don't know if you're familiar with that look it up on Google if you're interested anyway enough rambling to the chair to stitch
getting into a good evening routine or rhythm, if you will. I'm really trying to get out tonight. Thank you all so much for your suggestions after yesterday's vlog. I so appreciate it. I'm really good at my morning rhythm. You know, I've got that down. So I need to put a little bit of time and effort into a nice evening rhythm and routine, if you will, um, for the evening to kind of get settled and to have a really nice restful sleep. But something I've watched countless YouTube videos about what people suggest to doing, but it's time to put it into practice and for it to become a, a habit, if you will. So what I did today is I washed my face. I don't always wash my face at night, which is horrible, <laughs> but I washed my face. I put toner on and moisturizer and all that stuff. Of course, took out my contacts. I made some tea, which is so lovely. It's in this lovely Remembrances Pottery mug by Natalie of Remembrance Pottery. Remembrances Pottery. Sorry, Natalie, after all these years, and you are my friend, I still kind of get that wrong sometimes. But it's the end of the day, so I'll blame it on that. <laughs> but see how beautiful it is? This was a gift for my mama. I love it so much, and it's perfect for an evening cup of tea. So I've got kombuda tea, and I am, of course, reading. Let me grab a sip, because it's too enticing. Hold on. Mm. I'm reading a book called A Darker Shade of Magic, which is part of a series that I learned about after searching the interwebs and YouTube on a quest for more fantasy series to dive into, to be taken away by. So I'm giving this one a shot. It was highly recommended and I saw that a lot of my friends on Goodreads had read it and gave it good uh, a good review. So. I'm liking it so far. It's definitely written in a way that's drawing me into the story. Um, I'm not hooked in the story quite yet, but I'm intrigued, which is good. It's got, got me curious, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I, I desperately want to read some other books, but they're just a little bit too cerebral for me right now. And it's been that way ever since Shelter in Place was put in place. So. And I, I, I've heard that's the same for a lot of folks, but I really do want to read the new Sue Monk kid book. Um, I have, I did like 10 Doors of January, but it was also just a little, just wasn't digestible enough for me right now. I was going to have to work a little bit. I love, I love books like that. You know me, Water Dancer, Cersei, those are the most recent books like that. And I love philosophical books. But right now I just want fantasy. <laughs> so yeah, but everything is on my Goodreads that I'm reading or that I want to read or that I have read. It's linked down below if you're ever interested. And I'm going to do a little bit of stretch, stretching, a few stretches, eventually, uh, I think an evening yoga routine might be the way to go instead of the morning. It's just not happening in the morning. So I think I might try doing a yoga, a yoga practice in the evening. Let's see if that suits me better. And I'm gonna stop babbling. Sorry, these have been so chatty. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> these have been so chatty the last couple of days, but um, it's been kind of nice. I'm feeling things slowing down in a different way, which is lovely. So maybe that's post shop update. That's how it feels, but I'm going to sign off here. <laughs> I hope you all had a lovely Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.